The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Welcome back. When you get pregnant, you have nine months to prepare for the baby. It seems like so much time, right? But come the third trimester, things suddenly get very real, very fast. Heather Scott, a certified nurse midwife at the Intermountain Avenue Specialty Clinic, is here. And Heather, a lot of moms are nervous when their due dates are just around the corner. What can we do to help calm those nerves a little bit, help them feel more in control? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with education. Learning along the way what's going to happen, having an idea in your mind what you want your experience to be like. Um, First and foremost, having a common goal with your provider that you want a happy and healthy baby. Mm -hmm. Because if you know what your goal, the end point's supposed to be, then the journey along the way, whatever path it takes, will be the same goal in the end. Yeah, it's easier to get there. So help, it starts with having a birth plan. And I think also too, in my experience, be prepared that it might not go exactly according to your plan. You just have to throw it out and make accommodations that are best for mom and baby. What should we put in our birth plans? Well, absolutely. I think that, you know, along the way with a birth plan, you need to figure out um, who's gonna be involved what kind of provider you're going to choose, um, who's going to be in the room with you, your spouse, your partner, the companion, family, friends. Do you feel like you need extra emotional support? Um, do you think you might need a doula? Is your spouse maybe going to wig out a little bit? <laughs> Medication versus non-medicated labor, that's really big for moms. Absolutely. So if you think that you might want to try an unmedicated birth, then there's some preparation that needs to go in hand. So maybe try some prenatal classes and you need to practice some of those techniques before you go into the process. Or if you're thinking you might want to do an epidural, even still understanding the process of what that means and when you might want that. And then also too, after you've delivered the baby, there's a lot of things to think about with that too. Skin to skin contact, who's cutting the cord, any of that. Absolutely, I've had plenty of women that either ask their spouse or they themselves want to cut their cord. Um, at LDS Hospital, we encourage most moms to do skin to skin with their baby as long as everything goes well with their delivery. Um, and then we try and keep babies with their moms for a solid hour after delivery to encourage that bonding moment with them. And you gotta think about breastfeeding, all of that. Yeah, everything. If, the, if they choose to breastfeed or bottle feed, that's an option completely. Women have many options to choose from. There's a lot of things to, to think about along the process. All right, Heather, thanks so much. And just be prepared to know that that plan very well might change. That's even at the right. Last minute. Okay, Heather, thanks.